Hey guys, it's KC. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are decorating a spread for the week of Easter. I can't believe Easter is already here. Um, it's March 25th through the 31st. This is the vertical layout. Um, I am going to be using Vibrant Blooms. These are some new florals that are available in my shop. And I'm going to pair them with this black and white like Aero Washi. So I have an idea of what I want to do with the washi. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do with the florals so that I can lay the washi down. Now, I mentioned this in my last vertical plan with me, and I think I'm going to try to find a plain vertical layout that I can use because these spines are really bugging me. Um, this spine is not going to match my spread at all, and it's going to bother me, but I'm just going to go with it and, and do the best I can with it. So... I'm going to start with this corner. I'll cut off this excess here. Now, I am filming early. I've mentioned that. I am actually filming two weeks worth of videos. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I got caught up after all of that mishap with my sticker paper and my sale orders, and everything's caught up now. So, I'm taking today to get some filming done. Thank you, Jesus. Um... So yeah, it's a good, good feeling to be caught up and filming ahead. It's been a, quite a while since I've been able to film ahead of time. Wait a minute. I don't, do I want to do this? Mm, I don't know if I want to do this. I'm going to go here. Because I actually have an idea for washi. So yeah, we're going to go this way. I may just try to take this little piece and put over here. Okay, this is so pretty so far. I love it. All right, now I need... I feel like I need to continue on like down the bottom. Let's try it with No, I'm not I'm not going to. Um I'll figure this out in a minute. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do. What I wanna do is lay down some boxes. So let's lay down some boxes. Let's take this yellow box. I kind of go mm, maybe like this. I'm not going to white out any of the black lines. I will white out like boxes lines, but not the black lines. That sticker is crooked, and I don't know that I'm going to be able to get it up without tearing my page. Alright, I'm going to grab my undo. I haven't used this in quite a while, but I've been having a lot of issues today. So, this is called undo. It's a sticker remover, and basically, you can just put it on the back of your sticker. It'll dry really quickly, but it will make your sticker repositionable and not take away the stickiness of the sticker. And then we'll just lay it back down. And once it dries, it'll be sticky again. It'll dry fairly quickly as well. All right, so there we have that. Um, now let's take a pink. I think I'm going to take a pink and a purple. And I think I'm going to do like the purple here. And then I'm going to do the pink down here. Okay, and then I'm going to recreate that same thing, only going this way on this side. And I don't particularly like the way this is going to happen because 
my purples are going to be beside each other but sorry I just had to pause the video I just had a whole sneezing fit <laughs> so yeah I'm not I'm not crazy about the way this is going to turn out because my purples are going to be beside each other but I'm actually going to take um some florals and try to break that up so we'll see how that turns out Again, this is um, very far out of my norm, but I'm trying to do a little bit more of that lately and get outside of my comfort zone and try different things. So let's just kind of see what happens. I think I'm gonna go here and then I think I'm actually gonna go up here. No, it's crooked. All right. Okay, so now I have my boxes laid down. Um, now I want to decorate with some florals in between the boxes. And I think for this one, I'm actually going to take this larger floral. Because remember I said I wanted to break up the purples. So I think I'm going to take this larger floral here. I got the sniffles now because of my sneezing fit. Come on. And I'm just going to cut straight up this floral so that we can kind of just lay right on the side of this box. But I do want my stems to touch the bottom line so that my florals look like they're coming or growing out of this bottom line here. So that kind of breaks up the purple purple or the purple on purple. So hopefully that will continue to break that up. I don't know. I'm just rambling. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, let's see here. All right, let's grab, do I have another small sheet that I've already started using? No. I think I want to grab this and kind of put it here. But I'm going to trim straight down the side of this one. That's crooked down the side of that one, but hey, who's, who's counting? Okay. And then... Maybe take this. No. Alright, so now here's where my washi is going to come into play. I want to take this washi and go right along the line here. And go straight across with it. And then do the same thing here. I'm going to have to put my glasses on. <laughs> I think the arrows are making my eyes cross. Okay, that's much better. There, and then we're gonna go across the bottom here. Whoops. See how cute that turned out with the washi? And I actually may try to put a quote there. Let's put, yep, okay. So I'm gonna peel this up for a second. And I'm gonna go ahead, whoops, I didn't mean to peel the whole thing off, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off, or not peel off, put down Easter blessings. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this whole sticker sheet. So now we have Easter blessings. And then, oh, that's the wrong thing. I'm going to use this piece that I already cut. We're going to go here. And cut it like right there. Yeah, that's really cute. Really, really cute. And then I could probably come down here, and I think I will. Come down here with some more florals. Just like off the edge. Of this sticker. This box. So that's what I'm going to do going to cut it at an angle 
just to kind of cut those stems off because I'm not going to use the stems. We'll just come down here to fill in this little blank spot here. All right, that's really pretty. And then maybe a little bit down here. So let's take this one and cut it, we'll cut it straight across, like right here. Okay, yeah, that's really pretty. I feel like this potted plant looks way out of place, but I'm just gonna leave it. I mean, it, it's okay, it'll be okay. And then where am I gonna put No Bunny Loves You Like Jesus? All right, let's put some florals down and then we'll decide where to put that. I'm gonna have to use, let's see. this one right here and I kind of want to trim this off okay we're going to put this one at the bottom down here it's not the same as the one that I used over here so I think we'll be okay um, I am going to lay it down though and then try to trim around somehow I just need something to go along the side here so I'm thinking that I'm gonna trim off the stems down here and I'm gonna cut this sticker in half like this way and we're gonna use this piece here and then this piece here how pretty it is y'all all right now let's do a little bit of washi and we can put my quote down here so I think I'm going to put this quote down at the bottom just like right there yeah that's really cute and then let's go with my washi the stripes or not stripes the arrows I want to put a tiny bit right here. Perfect. Okay. We'll put some here, just like we did on the other side. And then put some down here. Look how pretty it is. The black and white looks so pretty with these um, really dark colors like the bold colors in the florals and the boxes. And I think I'm gonna do some washi up here on this top as well. Let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, I think that kind of just fills in the whole spread. So we'll do some over here as well. And then be done with this spread. Yeah, look how pretty this turned out, you guys. 
and I still have plenty of room to write on each day. And like I always say, if I run out of room to write, you can always grab um, like a fill paper insert or a half sheet insert and stick in between the days. And then you can just continue writing that way on, on your little insert that you use. So I think this spread turned out super pretty with these pretty bold colors and the black and white arrows. So let's put it back in my planner see how we like it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up um if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you want to purchase some of these florals and any of my quotes or any of my stickers um head over to my website thepleasantlyplanned.com through the end of march um all stickers in my shop are 50% off. After that, they'll be 25 to 35% off or 25 to 30% off. So make sure while you're at my website that you scroll down to the bottom of the homepage and um, sign up for emails. Like because in my emails, you'll get exclusive discounts, sneak peeks, coupon codes, things like that. So that's it for this one, guys. I'm going to film one more and I will be finished for the day. So I thank y'all so much for watching. Love you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.